Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to uh, form disco letters. Yes, you heard it right. Disco letters. I, I, I would like to call them that way because these letters, uh, the word that you see in front of you is AHA and uh, when I test the movie they start dancing. They have those disco lights and uh, they dance around. They, they, they fiddle around okay the fidget around rather and that's the reason why I call them disco letters let me show you what I mean a control enter on my keyboard guys to test the movie and there you go so these three letters A H A uh, change their color every uh, 500 or 200 milliseconds I'll need to check what was the action script that I'd written not only that they randomly choose a different position a different color every time alright that's why I call them disco letters right okay so guys uh, what I'll do is I'll create this project in a, a new uh, file and I'll show you how this was done so I'm gonna say file on a new and I'm gonna change the height of the stage to 170 keep the same uh, width which is 550 which is also the default okay then I'm gonna use the text tool uh, shortcut key T T for Tango uh, making sure that uh, my font is Ravi but uh, guys go ahead choose a different font that's absolutely alright it's one of my favorites Ravi alright so let me go with uh, this color right font size 96 and let me write aha uh -huh. okay let me place it somewhere in the center of the stage alright guys before I can actually embark on this project I need to break about this word alright guys have a look out here in the properties panel it says the text is classic static which is which is fine okay so I'm gonna right click on the word and then I'm gonna say convert rather I'm gonna say break apart then I'm gonna right click again and I'm gonna say break apart once again now when I say break apart twice guys please notice that all the three letters are now shapes they have been rendered shapes now they are no, uh, they're not letters anymore okay but I had to right click and say break about twice okay then guys I'm gonna handle each uh, letter one by one I'm gonna right click on the very first letter which is letter A capital A and I'm gonna say convert to symbol alright keeping the registration point top left making sure that the type is movie clip I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna select the second letter press F5 on my F8 on my keyboard and I'm gonna say okay that's shortcut guys for converting to a movie clip F8 once again and say okay or hit enter all right now all these three letters are nothing but movie clips guys cool I don't need to give them any instance names okay next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on the letter A and I'm inside the letter I'm in the edit mode guys I'm gonna right click on the very first frame I'm gonna say create shape tween alright then I'm gonna come to frame number 100 I'm gonna press F6 to insert a keyframe guys alright then I'm gonna come to frame number 50 and press F6 to insert yet another keyframe guys cool okay now that I'm on the 50th frame guys I'm gonna select the letter A I'm gonna change the color to let's say how about this green okay let me come off the edit mode guys <coughs> Make your button. So let's see what effect uh, did the change. See what I've done is I've created a shape tween, guys. All right. Now shape tweens are best when you want to work with color tweens. If you uh, strictly speaking, I've not created a shape tween. I've actually created a color tween right now. So I'm gonna hit Control Enter to test the movie. And uh, please focus only on the letter A, guys. And uh, you can see that it's dynamically changing its color. H and D letters don't have any change in the shades but the letter A has and I'll tell you why uh, if I go inside and if I scrub the timeline you can actually see the change in the color so strictly speaking it's not a shape tween that is happening but a color tween that is happening cool now I'm gonna come on the 50th frame guys select the letter A then select the <coughs> free transform tool shortcut key Q Q for cubic alright and then I'm gonna nudge the letter just that little bit I'm gonna skew it 
just that wee bit not much All right I'm gonna come to the hundredth frame select the letter A and I'm gonna skew it once again like so I'm gonna come off the edit mode guys and then I'm gonna take a publish preview control and down my keyboard to test and please have a letter uh, you know uh, uh, please focus on the letter A it's kind of um, moving where it where it is okay it's moving left and right it's bending forward sometimes bending backward so it's changing its position right very very cool All right okay I'm gonna follow the same procedure with the letter H I'm gonna double click go in the edit mode I'm gonna right click on the very first frame I'm gonna say create shape tween I'm gonna come to frame number 100 I'm gonna press F6 uh, come to the 50th frame and then I'm gonna say F6 once again alright on the 50th frame guys I'm gonna choose a different color right I'm gonna go back to the very first frame and change the color I wouldn't want it to be blue anymore how about uh, let's go with this okay and uh, mm, yep alright so cool I'm gonna come to the 50th frame guys I'm gonna select the free transform tool which it already is selected I'm gonna notch it just that wee bit okay and then I'm gonna come to the hundredth frame and then I'm gonna notch it just that wee bit once again I'm gonna come off the edit mode guys I'm gonna test okay so not only do the letters A and H change their position they also change their colors alright very very cool I'm gonna follow the same procedure with letter A, double click go inside, right click on the very first frame, say create, shape tween, uh, click on the hundredth frame guys, I'm gonna press F6 to insert a keyframe, I'm gonna come to the fiftieth frame, press F6 once again to insert yet another keyframe, okay on the fiftieth frame let me change the color to a different color, um, right, and then I'm gonna go back to the very first frame, choose a different color. Mm, let me go with uh, this one. Or sh no, let me go with um, let me go with this one. Right, and then I'm gonna come to the fiftieth frame. Okay, and then I'm gonna skew it a little bit. And then I'm gonna, gonna come to the hundredth frame, skew it a little bit. Right, I'm gonna come off the edit mode, guys. I'm gonna test and see what has happened okay <laughs> all right so dancing letters right but that's not the end of it all right I'm gonna attach some action script now I'm gonna write some action script guys this is where you'd really need to pay attention guys this part was simple because this this didn't involve any action script okay I'm gonna uh, double click on the letter H go inside I'm gonna create one more layer I'm gonna call it AS3 cool I'm gonna make sure that I am on the very first frame right click and say actions I'm gonna code now coding time right uh, perceived as difficult by a few people but let me tell you practice makes perfect guys the more you practice the easier it becomes it's only a matter of practice and it's only a matter of time before action script uh, doesn't uh, look so ominous and it isn't so trust me the, the the difference is practice so let's start I'm gonna create a variable I'm gonna call it on RNO one that's random number one I'm gonna make it equal to math dot random okay guys math dot random method of the math class will generate a number between 0 and 1 okay but if I were to multiply it with 99 it would output a number between 0 and 99 all right I'm gonna create yet another variable I'm gonna call it RNO2 all right and uh, RNO2 for random number two guys right and I'm gonna make it equal to math sorry M capital there math dot seal seal for sealing it's gonna bump up the number see math on random will generate a number between 0 and 99 but they but uh, there'll be fractions so what will happen when I use the math dot seal method of the math class guys 
it will bump up the number towards the ceiling seal means ceiling okay so any number which is something like a 59.3 will be bumped up to 60 all right something like a 64.2 will be bumped up to 65 that is what uh, math.seal does and it will take away the fraction as well okay so i'm going to say variable rn2 is equal to math.seal method of the math class and inside the parents i'm going to write rn01 now rn01 is a random number between 0 and 99 very very cool and then i'm going to say plus 1 now what will happen uh, variable rn02 will be always be a number between 1 and 100 now okay so instead of being 0 to 99 uh, rather when you use the seal method it will ensure that you will never get 0 you will get 1 to 99 but if I add 1 it will always output a number between 1 and 100 cool okay and I really need this number um, between 1 and 2 I'll tell you why then I'm gonna say um, go to and stop and write and then I'm going to say between 1 and 100 so that's our end of 2 right see guys what will happen uh, every time this uh, script will run it will generate a number between 1 and 100 and then the timeline will go and stop at that number so if this timeline let's say stops at 20 all right look at the letter H will have a different shade at 45 it will have a different shade at 65 it will have a different shade at 35 it will have a different shade and let's say 95 it will have a different shade so uh, it really depends you know and 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 I don't know I really don't know which frame it will stop at so since it's a random number it may stop at any um, frame it may like and thus you know I'll have a different position and a different color on the timeline through the shape tween guys I'm able to have the color tween as well as I'm able to make the letter dance like this very very cool very very nice all right so guys uh, but if I really wanted to have this kind of an effect run every 0.5 seconds I'm gonna encapsulate the code inside a timer function I need to create a timer so I'm gonna do that right now variable timer uh, that's timer of the type timer space equals space new timer creating a instance of a new timer guys I'm gonna pass in a parameter which is the delay parameter let me say after every 500 milliseconds then I'm gonna say timer dot add event listener guys timer event dot timer okay and then the name of the function guys which is color loop I'm gonna call the function color loop now this function color loop will happen after every 500 milliseconds elapse after the delay the delay is 500 ms milliseconds which is half a second guys beg your pardon so that's a color loop is the name of the function should be performed after every half a second okay then I need to write the function so function color loop and um, I need to pass in the event guys that's the format so that's event and uh, timer event right flash says that you need to pass in the event in the parents then a colon void since this function does not calculate and return a value and I should be putting the closing curly brace out here every time you have a timer guys you need to start the timer using the start method so that's it I should be done let me say control enter to test please focus only on the letter H guys A A A for, al you know, a for alphabet the first letter A see it's dancing around every uh, 500 uh, milliseconds it has a new position a new color very very cool I think 500 ms is uh, slightly slow I'm gonna change that to a 200 ms let me go with 200 let me test control enter on the keyboard to test and uh, yep that's that's much better looks uh, looks nice cool guys next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this chunk of code a control C say copy right click copy I'm gonna go back to the main timeline I'm gonna go inside the letter H I'm gonna create yet another layer I'm gonna call it AS3 okay make sure the first frame is selected right click go inside the actions panel drop the code go back to the main timeline double click on the small letter A I'm gonna create yet another layer call it AS3 
for action script 3 right right click on the very first frame go inside the actions panel drop the code out there all right let me go back to the main timeline guys control enter to test all the three letters together wonderful now what is happening after every uh, 2000 milliseconds guys that's one fifth of a second all the three letters are dancing around they have a different shade and a different position so th those are my darling uh, disco letters right so I, I really don't know uh, if you would be using uh, such letters on your uh, projects but uh, whenever I make tutorials guys my main aim is to teach you action script and uh, through this uh, uh, tutorial I've taught you shape tween, color tween and uh, math.random, math.seal and even uh, how to construct the timer uh, function the how to use the timer class rather all right uh, guys i hope you like this tutorial i'll see you very soon with yet another flash or action script 3 tutorial or it could be dreamweaver cs 5.5 i'll see you very soon bye bye peace